On this week's Cow-Calf Corner, I wanted to visit with producers across the state about a uh, new piece of legislation that, that affects the entire livestock business. It's called a veterinary feed directive and it's going to have an impact on how uh, cow-calf producers and other livestock producers uh, would feed medicated feeds to their livestock. To help us better understand this uh, new piece of federal legislation coming from the Food and Drug Administration, I've asked Dr. Rod Hall, our state veterinarian, to visit with us today and, and perhaps bring us a little more up to date and explain more about what this really means. So, Dr. Hall, can, can you kind of give us a rundown of what the veterinary feed directive really means? You bet, Glenn. Uh, I'd like to start out by just saying that, that the reason for this is the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, they have evidence and they believe that a lot of the antibiotic resistance problems that, that we're starting to see may be caused from overfeeding of antibiotics in animals. Uh, I think that's, I don't know that that's a, a, a been confirmed positively, but uh, the fact of the matter is they believe it and, and a lot of the public, the people that buy our food, uh, believes that. So uh, it, it just stands to reason that we would want to make some changes that, that would assure the producers that uh, we are doing everything we can. So, so this is really brought on by the antibiotic resistance problem. Uh, the veterinary feed directive is actually, it's a, a piece of paper that a producer must get from a veterinarian, similar to a prescription, it's not exactly a prescription, but similar, uh, for that producer to buy any feed that uh, has antibiotics mixed in with it. The maximum length of time the VFD can be written for is six months. The veterinarian has to put the, um, the amount of that feed that can be purchased, what the dose is, how many animals are gonna be treated. So it's not just an open-ended mm -hmm. product. It, it really truly is gonna require uh, the producer to communicate with his veterinarian and, and get all this documented. January 2017, uh, all of these medically important antibiotics will have to have uh, this veterinary feed directive. Uh, so the producer is going to have to work with their veterinarian. If, if a producer does not already have a veterinarian that they work with, that they have a, a veterinary client patient relationship, they need to start developing that relationship now because uh, getting this veterinary feed directive documented and to the supplier uh, is gonna take a, a few days. So the producer won't be able to just wake up one morning and say, I need to go to the feed store and, and uh, buy some feed with oreomycin in it to prevent anaplasmosis. Uh, they'll have to have that veterinary feed directive for that. Can you go ahead and, and perhaps step through how a producer would go about getting a medicated feed in this situation okay. where he's concerned about anaplasmosis? Okay. The producer needs to contact the veterinarian uh, together they make a decision that uh, feeding chlortetracycline in, in the mineral or, or in a, a top dress is the best way to prevent anaplasmosis in the producer's herd. And then a veterinarian will need to you know, fill out all the documentation, give a copy to the producer, and then the producer will give that copy to the feed store uh, or the feed supplier and he'll be able to purchase that then. Okay. There are other uh, feed ingredients, let's call them, that are commonly used in the, in the cow-calf industry, and I'm thinking of such things as ionophores or even some of the coccidiostats for the prevention of, of coccidiosis. Uh, what about those? Those are not covered under this. As I say, the veterinary feed directive is targeted at the medically important antibiotics. So the ionophores, the, the dewormers that we use in cattle, for instance, uh, the beta agonists that, that we use, uh, those are not used in humans, so they are not covered. So there will be no change in the way that a, that a producer can buy or use those. And we've put on the SUNUP website a couple of links to uh, those uh, government type pamphlets that tell producers more details about this uh, uh, veterinary feed directive. So just go to SUNUP dot okstate.edu, look under show links, and you can find out more information. Thank you, Dr. Hall, and we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.